Here's a quick guide to creating bitmap pattern fills in Affinity Photo. OK, so here is my top-down diagram. And to begin adding some bitmap pattern fills to the floor areas here, I need to create a fill layer to work from. Now, a fill layer can be created from a selection. So we can use the Flood Select tool here and just single click into the ground area here to create a selection from it. So with the selection active, we can now go to Layer, New Fill Layer. And whilst we're here, we'll also deselect to get rid of the Marching Ants marquee. So we can either use Select and Deselect or use the keyboard shortcut. So on Mac, that's Command D and on Windows, Control D. Now, if we look across on the Layers panel here, we can see our newly created fill layer, and that is masked to the selection we had active. So also notice that when we create a fill layer, we automatically have the gradient tool selected for us, and it's this tool which is going to enable us to add a bitmap pattern fill. So on the context toolbar here, we can change the type from solid to bitmap. When we select bitmap, we get a file dialog, and you will want to navigate to where your bitmap pattern fills are stored. So I've got some seamless JPEG textures here. For example, I can select this wood texture and click open. OK, and that now applies a wood texture bitmap pattern fill to this fill layer here. So initially, what I can do is click and drag anywhere on the canvas. So for example, here. And that enables me to set the initial direction and also scaling of the bitmap pattern fill. Now I can hold the shift key on the keyboard to constrain to 45 degree increments for the direction. And then when I'm happy with the result, I can just let go of the mouse button. Now a crucial step to mastering bitmap pattern fills is to make use of the extensive keyboard modifiers. If we hover over the middle node, down on the hint line at the bottom left here, we have some modifier options. But if we hover over one of the other nodes, which are the axis nodes, we get a significant amount of keyboard modifiers that we can use. For example, with no modifiers, I can simply click drag to move this axis node around. I can hold down the control key on Mac to constrain the direction of the axis node whilst being able to stretch the dimensions of the pattern fill. Alternatively, I can hold down Command on Mac to move the entire fill around, or I can hold Shift and Control to rotate the fill. Finally, if we've made some changes, for example, like so, we can then simply double click the node to reset to the original dimensions. Now, the original dimensions were created when we first drew out the bitmap pattern fill. So anytime you single click and drag anywhere on the canvas, you are setting the initial dimensions. Finally then, there's a very quick way to copy a bitmap pattern fill as well to another fill layer. So first, let's just organize our layers. I'll click into this fill and call this main floor. Now I need to create another selection, this time of the bedroom floor. So I can select the background pixel layer, which is the diagram, go back to the flood select tool here, single click over this area, there is my selection, so I can just go to layer, new fill layer, and create a second fill layer. Once again, I'll deselect using Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows. And just to stay organized, I'll name this bedroom floor and hit return on the keyboard. So finally, to copy a fill, I can select the fill I want to copy, go to Edit and Copy, then select the fill I want to copy it to and go to Edit and Paste Style. Notice there is also a keyboard shortcut to achieve this. And there is our copied bitmap pattern fill. And we can even select multiple layers together by holding down Shift and clicking to select both of them.
And by doing this, we can always modify the fills simultaneously. For example, if I just click drag again, I can now draw out the original dimensions for both of these pattern fills at the same time. So there we go, just a quick look at bitmap pattern fills in Affinity Photo. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.